Hi folks, this is Reploid Armada. Welcome to Let's Play The Sorcerer's Cave. The Sorcerer's Cave is a... well, it's an RPG game. It was ported from a card game that was that was inspired by Dungeons & Dragons. So, here, here we have the party screen. Each party member has five stats. Magic, Physical Attack, Charisma, treasure and score. Treasure is how many treasures they can hold. Artifacts have no weight. So there are a number of party members you can choose from. I tend to go with the squire and ogre myself. i just show those off. See there's the squire. There's the ogre. So we'll just start the game. This is loading pretty Okay. This is the morale bar. You cannot raise it through any means whatsoever. If it hits neg if it hits full negative, you die. Once it passes below zero, your party members will start to desert, taking everything they're carrying with them. <coughs> oh hey, we ran into the Medusa and lost nobody. Why is this so slow? Anyway, that was the exchange screen, which, where's, which is where you run into... Speak of the devil, we got some strangers here, once this thing loads. We've got a man. Let's talk to him. And he decides to join us. We decided to talk to the man. We could either fight the man or run away from him instead. Those are the three things you can do with strangers. The one thing you can do with games that take too long to load is not play them. So we've got another ogre and a dwarf here. And he decides they decide they want to fight us. So here's the combat screen. It's not at all useful. <laughs> Basically, you just stack enemies against other enemies and then, you know, just hit go and then things happen. It's not all that compelling. It really isn't. It's a this is a good 5 5 minute game, but don't expect more than that. Anyway, we're we're going to try to get through this. Maybe. If you if you talk to a group of strangers three times and nothing happens, they will go. They will exit the cave, taking everything in the room with them. So we don't want that. <sighs> Why is this taking so long to load? Okay, here's the first artifact we've we've run into: the flute. It will put it will put dragons to sleep. Oh yes, there are dragons. That little guy, he's the sorcerer. That's the sorcerer's den. He's likely to be found around there. Here we have a giant and the bell rope. If you take the bell rope, someone approaches you. We you don't know who. And the giant joins us, which is good. We pull this, we get a dwarf. And he joins us. Cool. The dwarf can disable floor traps, which will fall you, which cause you to fall down a floor. Okay, the troll, he ran away. He left his loot behind. He also ran away. Left his loot behind. And here's some more things. More things that are trying to kill us. Ah, 
Okay, so <coughs> get out of here slowly, maybe. Yeah, there isn't that much to say about the game. It's basically just go around the cave, exploring rooms, running into things, killing things, picking up loot, and escaping. That's basically the point of the game. It, like I said, it's a it's good for, you know, a five minute game, but if you expect more than that, you're just deluding yourself. So that so, ch we opened a chest. It contained treasure. Chests can also contain specters, which we we'll, which we might run into later, or nothing. Yellow yellow doors are stairs going up. Red doors go down. So we'll go down, 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 down. The burning ring of fire. And who's in here? There is something in here. The yellow asterisk means there's something in the room. Either strangers or loot or whatever. Here we have a woman and a giant. Here we'll talk to the woman. And the woman decides to fight us. And the woman decides to die. See how that works? Cool. You get to live. <sighs> this game, however, does not. Being slow and, you know, unresponsive. Here's another artifact, the axe. It increases the, the physical t the strength of one character by one, unless it's the dwarf, in which case it raises it by two. It's pretty useful. Makes the dwarf hit harder as is usually the case. As you can see, we ran into a viper pit. The giant fell in. Why did it have to be vipers? This is, I'm not Indiana Jones. Anyway, viper pits, they're, they just suck your loot away from you forever. They, they kill... If you back away from them, nothing happens. If you try to cross them, then there's a chance of losing someone. If you have a dog with you, he'll he'll go through the your party will go through the viper pit unscathed, which is good. <sighs> it's been it's been eight minutes, and I haven't even gotten negative because of this damn game. It's being slow. Okay, this dog is telling us to go in peace. What, is he from Shadow Shadowrun or something? I'll take no sass from dogs. Okay, here's the talisman. It ward it destroys specters. Specters can normally only be hit by magic, which we have none of. That viper pit is pretty much useless because there's no way to get stuck there. So we have lotus dust. It's lotus dust and a balm. They're they're one use. They only work once, as to be expected. And this game is being slow, as I've come to expect from you know this computer. Uh, slow game. Hey, here's a here's a specter. Let's banish him. It's fun, right? Of course it is. Also, we have a wizard on the opposing side. Wizards are pretty useful. If you give a a, a wizard a staff, then they can they can resurrect those who've been turned to stone for free. So, we like wizards. And... This has been Let's Play the Sorcerer's Cave. I'm Replit Armada, and I'm going to get out of here. Good night.